So we have an indefinite integral and the trick is to recognize that this is going to lead to an arctan function. So recall the formula, if you have dx over a squared plus x squared, this is simply one over a arctan of x over a plus c. So we wanna rewrite our indefinite integral in a way that lets us use this formula. So we can do that as follows. We have e to the two x over, and we can write 81 as nine squared. That takes care of the a squared part. Plus, and we can write e to the four x as e to the two x quantity squared dx. All right, because how do you simplify this? You just multiply the two and the two x and that gives you four x. So now we're gonna make a substitution. We're gonna let u equal e to the 2x. And then so du, well the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So you get e to the 2x times the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of 2x is simply 2. And then we have the dx. In our integrand, we don't have a 2, so we'll divide both sides by 2. And so this leads us to 1 half du equals, and then we simply have e to the 2x dx. So now we can rewrite this, e to the 2x dx, that's right here, and that's equal to 1 half du. So we can pull the 1 half out, and then we have du. In the denominator, we still have the 9 squared, plus, and then e to the 2x is simply u, so this is u squared. So now we'll carefully use the formula. So the 1 half hangs out, and then we have 1 over a, so this is 1 over 9, and then arctan of u over 9, right? because a is 9 plus c. So this is equal to, well, let's see, 1 half times 1 ninth is 1 18th, and then we have arctan of, well, u was e to the 2x, there it is. So this is e to the 2x, over nine, and then plus our constant C. And so that is the final answer. I hope this helps.